let's let's sit right next to the neighbor and let's talk about the fun project we did or let's talk about some of the interesting thing on the YouTube channel. So I guess let's talk about the one interesting thing you kinda know me because obviously when I first met you I didn't film the neighbor when I if you don't know the whole story how I met the neighbor is he used to have a, a tree pile and at the time my dad was walking with a neighbor so my dad like hey go ask this guy if he wants his pile of stick and debris to be moved so I met him <laughs> And we and I move. Some he come knocking on my door looking for work. <laughs> and he asked to move this mountain of branches that fell down on the last freeze. And he said, um, "I'll do it for twenty dollars." I went, "Whoa, okay." Uh, I never knew Mike Michael. I never met him. I met his dad. And I thought, well, okay. I looked at the mountain of branches and looked at him and I said okay I tell you what a hundred dollars and you got yourself a deal and get her done whenever you feel like <laughs> it and uh, I think that afternoon he had it done I mm -hmm. thought wow this guy's a hard worker I thought man this kid this kid's out looking for work so um, I asked him how much you'd do my lawn for and he says yeah okay well you got yourself a deal so he's been mowing my lawn now mm -hmm. for what five years a uh, very long time yeah about five years now mm -hmm. so he's a good hard worker he's a great kid great friend yeah um funny thing is you originally hired me to do the lawn and somehow i kind of came over to your trello project yeah then he started to help yeah he helped me <laughs> actually i helped him build this trailer <laughs> So it was, it was one of those original things that I was supposed to help him, but somehow it got lead over to his trello, and now I've walked on the trello, and now we walked on the house, and... Oh we'll... boy, he's all around. He's a handyman. <laughs> he's an all-around handyman. Mm -hmm. So a lot of PC project I purchased. Now, he's not the only client I work with. I did time lapse of me filming multiple clients that I've never filmed. So I do work with Azor. So he's not the only one who is supporting my hobby. <laughs> and the other thing too is it's very probably well to see a kid like me who want to mow a neighbor lawn or help our neighbor as a project because you you probably don't you probably don't have a lot of experience of kids who who want to help our neighbor only myself <laughs> so yeah I met him not knowing him because when I forced, I didn't pull out my GoPro. By the time I pull out the GoPro, it was too late. We, I pulled out the GoPro when we were walking on the Trello hitch. Yeah, after we were done. <laughs> That's too bad you didn't pull it out when we were uh, building this. Yeah, but I was shy at the time too. You know, I think I was a little bit shy. Took me a while to kind of get to know you, and. Uh, I tell you what, it probably was nervous for me. Pull out my GoPro and be like, get the GoPro on my face. I was probably nervous. I probably never asked you, hey, do you mind me film? I did uh, put, I did probably what, put it on YouTube without knowing. I didn't care. But you were surprised when I said, hey, look on YouTube and, mm -hmm. and by only you there were, Where I was. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I'm> famous. <laughs> so. I'm on TV. Mm -hmm. So it's it was it's 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 kind of an interesting adventure to uh, meet somebody.
that you don't know her or you never met and now you kinda after a while now I kinda probably know you by now <laughs> and uh, I know I know you and me kinda talk about I think you were talking about in the past how you kinda learn you kinda learn a couple of stuff from me very much so very important stuff <laughs> A very smart kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot more, a lot more intelligent up there than he leads on to be. <laughs> got a lot of common sense. A lot of common sense. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him. <laughs> the value of the value of family. Telling me about going to my other family, being divorced, and he woke me up to the fact that they're still my family. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right, Michael. Yeah. That was a valuable thing to learn. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, your background is from a divorce. And uh, I came around for a little bit, and after a while, you kind of learn when you divorce, there's still a family. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And when you divorce, you don't have to shut your door completely. Right. There you go. Oh, because, <laughs> because there's still, um, you know, sometimes a friendly, a friendly, a friend relationship is way better than a marriage. It's probably what ten times stress to be in a marriage than a friend. <laughs> right. So it's one of those things of. It's easy to have a separate space. In a, a separate relationship or relationship or keep as a friend relationship. <laughs> and I know there's some people out there probably. I know I know my parents like to joke around like, oh, you might find a girlfriend, or if you go to a, go to a place, you might find a girlfriend. But I think that's not true in a way. It's quite hard to find a girlfriend these days. <laughs> it's very well to have a, a relationship for a long period. I probably, probably the longest one I ever heard is, I think for 15 years or 50 years, no, it will be 15. That would be the longest relationship. So if you have a relationship for that long graduation, I, I know my parents been married for the longest time because um, when my mom met my dad, they were at age 17. So being at 17 and being married for a pretty long time, it'd be... <laughs> I think my parents been <laughs> married for the longest time. Because how long you had yours? Well, you're 24 years old, right? 23, 24? Yeah, somewhere on there. So they've been married about 24 years, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that would be the good longest one. So I'm, I'm very lucky my parents been together. I've never experienced a uh, divorce. And uh, I'm very lucky. I... I'd probably be 10 times worse if I was in a divorce, and if I was in the divorce, I'd probably, be, I'd probably wouldn't be the luckiest person to still visit the dad. <laughs> so, like, the neighbor have a, um, a daughter still, right? You mm -hmm. still have a, a daughter. You, yeah. Yeah, you, so you, so he still have kids, and they they still visit him, you know, and they they can talk to him still, right? Mm -hmm. Like your daughter, she can still call you, and she can talk to you. Of course. So that's that's a pretty cool thing, you know. It's 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 probably not the world greatest if you can't talk to your dad. It's probably the saddest the kids is going to have. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who have 
a uh, parent's divorce, they may not have an option to talk to their mom or the dad, whoever, uh, whoever claimed their kids. So, um, um, yeah, it's, I'm very lucky. <laughs> And I think his kids are very lucky they can still talk to him and and all that. So that's probably what the only thing you learn from me is the family, right? Oh no, oh no, there's a lot. That's just one, one of the <laughs> most important ones. I learned I learned a lot more than that. Well, you have a good friend. You've been yeah. a good friend. Mm -hmm. That was important. I asked God for a friend, and I guess I got a good friend. I got a best friend. Mm -hmm. One of the better, best, better <laughs> ones I've ever had. Seriously. A friend that you still regularly visit mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. on a regular yeah. basis, not, not on like a weekly or what, like every single week, like every. Every day during the week, throughout, throughout Monday, throughout Friday, I do visit him. I think a lot. <laughs> probably Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday now. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's fine. And oh I yeah. Get my own I get my free time, and I'm gone a lot now during the summertime because I'm retired and I'm out. I'm riding on my motorcycle. <laughs> the nice scooter. Player. Which all most of you seen his window shopping of Scooter, <laughs> which um, I was gone when he when he took the delivery of the Scooter. So I'm pretty sure most of you it was a surprise. We gone to window shopping, and suddenly you riding down the Scooter on the on the road. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure most of you were very surprised. Mm. But, oh yeah, it's, it's probably very interesting to have somebody like me come by very often, and like the neighbor said, learning how valuable a friend relationship is. Because, like, I'm pretty sure you never had a good friend, -a friend relationship. Because, like I say, you kind of learn. Well, and I've had a lot of friends. It's just that uh, I've been alone for a while being divorced by myself, just kind of basically fixing up my home, and mm. be kind of lonely, you know, <laughs> just wanted a friend to be around and talk to, give a hard time, I give him a hard time all the time, <laughs> I pick on him like a finger in a nose. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, I wish I could film at Home Depot, but uh, there was a, what the heck? There was a lady at our Home Depot. He liked to, like to give all the time. I'm not the only one get all the time. He kind of give all the time to be on the person. <laughs> if they don't mind the whole time, as long as they don't get offended over, mm -hmm. probably a joke. But you know. Yeah, she's, she's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Nah. So. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's kind of interesting hmm. you know like you said being alone it's probably probably on probably whole new experience when you're alone you know um which i i know i i follow this this formal guy you may you may see in the background of my video you may have seen a couple of video of this uh of the video but there's a video or a youtube channel i follow called the the one lonely formal and that one lonely oh. formal guy he <laughs> was in the revo he was in the divorce too and he was talking about how his <laughs> the the lady he was divorcing it was, or it was a very the lady was difficult yeah difficult <laughs> Trying to say something without without YouTube going eh, <laughs> not not suitable for advertisement. Well, you can say simple word and 
I mean, you can say it really lightly, you can still get this one, oh, not suitable, it's like, eh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite different. <laughs> so that's probably another thing. Uh, uh, the other thing you probably learned, I would imagine that's probably the two things you probably listed. Fam how important family member is, how important the friend relationship is, and, uh, no, you did talk about how when you divorce it, you tend to get lonely very quickly. Well. But obviously the neighbor came with, with pretty good, pretty good sweet things, so. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, it's been a wonderful experience working with the neighbor. Five or six years, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Five or six years, you've been my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Any project I do, you know, the thing, what the thing is really weird is, you know, like you used to work at your work, you today today job, and every time you bring up to your, uh the co-worker, or like, uh, like you gave me example one time how you let the people know like you pay me like 20 bucks and they think that's too high <laughs> and uh for him 20 bucks doesn't when you go down the street and you see these kids selling lemonade for 50 cents or 75 cents or a dollar buy it <laughs> it's not gonna break you, you pay him 20 dollars a do an hour's worth of work is not going to break me. And whatever else he does around here, I usually give him some more money. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's not going to break you. Just to buy mm -hmm. your lemonade for a dollar. No. Be yeah. nice to the kids because they're out there trying to make a little bit of money. And they'll do it again and again and again. <laughs> they're not begging for money. They're no. working for their money. There's a difference between begging and walking. Yep. Big difference. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it doesn't hurt the neighbor. He he does pay me pretty decently. You know, it's it's not like he's it's not like he's paying me in in the cheap way. And like I said, it doesn't break him for twenty bucks to mow the lawn, depending on how fast the grass is growing. And you know, 20 bucks that, that I don't charge extra I don't charge tax I don't charge if you're hiring somebody they would charge a lot more right <laughs> but if if you are hiring a lawn more contract they, they would charge they would charge more right because they would have to charge, um, they would have to charge, like, the dumping fee and all that stuff, so. But, uh, anyway, I think that's pretty good at this time, the neighbor, I'm very thankful the neighbor give his, um, I would, I would think for the neighbor, um, cooperation, um, it's it's pretty cool to pick up my GoPro and my neighbor's not afraid, you know, he's not hiding stuff, you know? Or he's there's an old saying this if you if you don't like cameras or if you don't if you what the heck is this old friend? If if you can't film somebody, they might be hiding something. So you know, which the neighbor is not hiding nothing. You know, that's his. I mean, if you ever met him, that's his natural way. You know, that's. I mean, if you ever, you would get the same reaction out of the neighbor. <laughs> you know, he. 
it's not like he's hiding, you know, so unlike other YouTuber well when they are in front of the camera they may look nice but when you meet them in real life that might be totally opposite and you know like 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 you know I, I don't have a script on you right I'm not telling you how to act right right doing his own natural thing. So I, I, I don't, you know, most of you get the point, so, but, uh, that was a pretty good ramble video for 30 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it, so, okay, stop the clip, because I'm pretty sure you heard all you go, I had a text from somebody, so. Uh, I will meet you at my computer or my custom PC, alright people? <laughs> alright Cannon, are you gonna stop with your stupid automatic time stopping thing? Alright, anyway. So, we're gonna be ending this video. I'm back on the Cannon. I'm not happy how that webcam torn out. <laughs> But, uh, anyway, it's, um, yeah, we're gonna be, this is, uh, video number two, the last one you seen was video number three, so now we came down to video number two, which, this one, I was lucky enough to have the neighbor, um, have the neighbor and me kind of talk about the learning stuff, you know, um, uh, you know, it's, um, I know how most of you, hopefully most of you, that kind of find that insane or not. So it's it's been a very good adventure between me and the neighbor. You know, there was a little bit of, um, well actually most of it's pretty good. So he's been pretty good to me. You know, I, I don't have any no regret of him none at all so and all my life is it's pretty good so um don't have no complaint but i do want to say special thanks again to the neighbor um if you're not aware the neighbor is moving out so that's why i'm counting down or letting the letting you letting you people know that um, there was only a couple of, uh, not couple, there was only like a very handful of small amount of video left, so, um, um, so, uh, don't be surprised if you don't, or if you don't see my next door neighbor on my YouTube channel for a while. And, most of you should know his house, uh, was was for sale and it did got or it did get sold too so being that sold being the people who signed the paperwork now it's there the new people own the house now so um if you don't see the next door neighbor house or him don't be surprised because he's moving up so but you know i'm gonna say thank you for the good opportunity uh, i do want to give a very special thanks of him allowing me to film the project that me and him worked on i think this was a pretty cool opportunity um and hopefully most of the new subscribers don't don't expect to don't have a higher expectation of seeing the neighbor next door neighbor because obviously uh if the new subscriber if the new subscriber are expecting they came in the worst time so but uh yeah um but hopefully most of you new subscriber hopefully uh, but there's plenty of older video you can check out um, 
you know, it's not like I only film one day on YouTube, I do film very often on YouTube, so let go to the video gallery, which, if you don't know how to access the video gallery, if you did click on a random video, or if YouTube, so for a reason, recommended this video to you, um, feel free, um, well, feel free, but go in the video notes, and in the video notes, there is a link that will take you over to the video gallery, and that way you can, that way you can go back to the older video of me, the neighbor, so, um, and, uh, they're, they're long enough, so, you should have plenty of hours of entertainment if you want to go back and watch the video, so, um, but, uh, that's pretty much it at this point, so, there's going to be one video left, and the one video left is going to be me and the neighbor, um, Whitey on the scooter. Um, it took me a while to jump on the scooter when I force when he forced the bar home. I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to ruin his balance and cause him to crash or what. But um, you know, after a while, after kind of, after a while, I kind of thought about, hey, why not ride the scooter? And we took a scooter ride, and, you know, it was pretty nice and calm. I don't enjoy motorcycle ride. I scared, I had people who had motorcycle try to take me on motorcycle before. Uh, which good thing is, I rode on a nice Honda motorcycle, but bad thing is, I didn't enjoy my experience. I didn't enjoy it. it so, I don't... I don't like motorcycle in general. I like scooter. I like the back road. The the little more enjoyable. So you know, don't be get don't get me wrong. There is a time and period to go fast, but there are some days I that want to take stuff slow. You know, enjoy the view and all that, and that that enjoy the reason why we have these little back roads, so, um, so that's going to be the last video, so, and now we're going to be on to the, to the personal vlog, which is going to be tricky now, so, but like I said, like I talked about, um, you know, once I get all these videos caught up, I will make a, a channel update, kind of let you know that, the video might slow down, or well, the vlog of side, the video vlog of side of thing might slow down. Um, being a lot of the people in the neighborhood, it's not too friendly with the camera, for some reason. <laughs> or if they, uh, or, if, or if they don't mind on camera, they normally want to just dress up. So, one of the two. So, but anyway, you know, um. And another thing too is, um, you know, uh, check out my YouTube homepage, give that, give it a check out, uh, check that out. Um, and, uh, if you want, once you're done, check out my YouTube homepage with some of the stuff. Once you're done checking that out, um, if you want to check out the video gallery, you can. Just click on the video tab and that should redirect you. Over to my, um, over to my video gallery. Um, then if the video caught your interest, feel free to subscribe. Uh, and if you want to get notified of any new video get uploaded to my YouTube channel, feel free to hit the bell notification. Um, then... Or you can follow me on the Google Plus page. I do make sure I share the video on my Google Plus page too, so... Either way, works for you, so... Um, then... Uh, give the video 
uh, a like or a dislike, whatever you feel like. Uh, in the video notes, click on show more because if you don't click on show more, all you guys see is the link to the video gallery. But if you click on the button show more, uh, the video notes should expand. It should open up more link for you. So like the channel email address if you need to get in, ta uh, in get in, in contact with me. Uh, Amazon wishlist, and if you did support the Amazon wishlist, or if you decide randomly support the Amazon wishlist, I will give you whatever prefer shout out you prefer from being from your name being out there or from being a anonymous user. I'm not guess if you if you want to be anonymous, I'm not gonna say name. I'm not gonna say your name. I'm not gonna describe you. All I'm gonna say is I have a person who feel like to uh feel like supporting my channel so that's all I'm gonna say so or you it can be quiet I you know whatever before you before uh, then if you are signed up with one of these community detective forms feel free to say hi to me uh, then if you have any nice comment or, or what because I'm gonna be probably a little bit lonely for a little bit so uh, if you want to keep me company, post your comment below the video and make sure it's nice and positive and happiness, alright? So, I will catch you next time. <laughs> it's gonna be sad, I, I tell you what, so. Anyway. Uh...